Hey guys, welcome back to Sabres Forever. I'm John, and today we're gonna be going over the Spectre 5. This thing is such a nice saber. It has some really cool, unique features that other sabers just don't have, mostly speaking about the rotary switch. <laughs> and it's just a really, really great saber to handle. I am super excited to show this off with a Goth 3D Designs Master Chassis. So without further ado, why don't we jump right in and I'll show you exactly what's going on. All right, so this is the Spectre 5 by KR Sabres and Jimmy Saberjunk. This is their first collaboration together working on Sabres, um, and it is a beautiful thing. The Sabre is just so cleverly put together. There's an amazing clocking system for the emitter to make sure it's always in line. Um, I love that the lever works both ways. The um, spring on it feels really good, and the plunger system is also spring-activated. Everything is just super clever, and uh, I also feel very lucky that I got to help um, go through the process of weathering I don't know, 90 of these maybe? I, Cal would know the exact number, but um, a lot. <laughs> I was in a unique circumstance that allowed me to go over to London to assist Cal for three weeks and um, achieve and watch him make these amazing results. So really, really cool to be able to experience that. And if you're looking to get any KR Sabre products that are... Uh, I guess I should really be giving you a close-up. <laughs> if you're looking to get any KR products weathered, you know, f once the service is offered, I highly recommend it because his finish is just absolutely spectacular. Really, really beautiful. And I, I honestly can't speak highly enough of my time over there. Him and his family were extremely hospitable, and um, they're just the best people. So really glad to call this one mine. This is a reminder of a beautiful experience and um, a great time. So I also went ahead and installed this, of course, with a Goth 3D Designs Master Chassis. So real quick, I'm going to go over the components to get that out of the way. This has a stock rotary connector that connects to... That was my phone. Uh, that connects to a uh, the lever up here, which is auxiliary, and the plunger, which is power, and then also to the um, connector, the blade connector up here uh, in the top of the emitter. In here we have a Profi V3 with five accent neopixels. There is a motor right here, an auxiliary switch, or a switch wired to auxiliary. Um, a real quartz crystal. This door is mag mag magnetically held in place. There is a um, 2020 neopixel accent underneath the crystal. Um, there's an 18650 right here. And then the high amp kill switch is right here, 28 millimeter speaker. There's uh, 20 accents, so 10 and 10 uh, that light up. So let's just. I have gained better control over my lightsaber. So this is just a really amazing chassis. Rick always knocks them out of the park, and this is no exception. So. Sabine Wren. Super cool. <laughs> Sabine Wren. And then I also have a mode for In the Hilt. <clears throat> With no motor. So this has a J-Lock system right here, which is really great. Um, so this just locks into the hilt like this. You put it in kind of on an angle and then twist it, it, locks in, and then you put the cap back on. And that makes the connection on the inside to the power right here. And the auxiliary works both ways. Twist on, twist off. Really, really great blade plug. 
just absolutely everything about this hilt is amazing. It feels really good in the hand, especially the weight of it with a master chassis is very nice. I can't speak highly enough of the feel of that. Um, it's a little bit of a counterbalance. The fonts on here, in case I did not say already, are Kyberphonic. Kyber Jesse, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the best font maker in town. Uh, Cal uh, put all of the blade retention screws on the back right side if you're looking at the shorter of the shrouds. So this is the longer set screw, and that'll remove your um, blade plug. <laughs> this also comes with a blade holder. So once you take the blade plug out, this screws into the emitter. And then this is a 7 8 blade, so this just goes in like this. And then I'm going to tighten this bad boy down like this. Oh, that's the wrong one, because that's, that's a long shroud. So it's actually this one. Easy to mix up. And then... Bam! Looks really great. Now what's really cool is Brian Connor has been doing all the voice packs and I naturally reached out and was like, did you do one for Sabine? And now the final product to this kid. Baby. And he was like, uh, not yet. So he did it. Edit mode. And now it sounds like the actor that played <laughs> Sabine. Edit style, edit color, edit font, edit track. Edit settings, copy preset, delete preset, exit. Red, orange red, dark orange, orange, gold, yellow, green yellow, green, aquamarine, cyan, deep sky blue, dodger blue, blue, ice blue, indigo, purple, deep purple, magenta, deep pink, silver, glacier, ice white, light cyan, moccasin, lemon chiffon, Navajo white, white, red, revert. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah i mean you can really theme the saber to be what you want sorry i was dancing behind the scenes while she was busy saying all the colors um so <laughs> so the uh the the blade is a lot of fun i like that it's a seven eights on in a thin neck um it really helps honestly just if you have a full length blade not like the show blade i have here um it's nice. It feels a lot nicer in the uh, emitter. There's uh, a little bit less wobble because it's a smaller diameter and the socket already is not that deep. So really, really happy to see it as a 7 8 And then when you're done with that and you want to put it back on display, if you were to have this so that it was perfectly in line and then you look at the dots and you clock it one more, like that. That is apparently accurate. So, do this. And it puts it on like a weird angle. You can see it's pretty neat. I like that. <clears throat> so. Honestly, this, this switch is too much fun. I think that it's such a unique feature on the Saber, and I really love that that is something that they utilized as a switch, the, the actual lever. Um, really great to see. So when you're all done, you just take it out, hit the kill switch the other way, and then you're good to put this on display. And no battery drain. If you had it as CFX, you know, obviously it has deep sleep mode, but I really prefer Profi Board to everything. It's just better. It's better. Trust me. If you don't know, now you know. I'm saving you. A whole bunch of headache. <laughs> Profi is the way to go. Even with the slight learning curve, once you figure it out, it's really the best. So anyways, 
Without rambling too much, I love this lightsaber. You would love it too if you got it. It's a great addition to your collection. Um, and James at Jimmy Saber, Saber Junk, his uh, partnership or uh, with um, KR Sabers and the Saber Armory is just top notch. I could not be more excited for that pairing. And good things are coming. You are going to have your freaking minds blown by what is on the horizon. So anyways, let's wrap it here. All right, guys, that does it for this video. If you like what you see and you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe to see more awesome installs just like this guy here. It is such a beautiful saber. I just can't say enough good things about it. Um, if you're looking to get a KR Sabers product installed, I have all of his sabers available for commission on my website. You can find them at sabersforever.com along with a ready to ship section and a made to order section. There's also merchandise. I, however, am not wearing it right now, rocking the KR Sabers merch. <laughs> and um, if you can't find what you're looking for, make sure to reach out at john at sabersforever.com and I'd be happy to answer any inquiries that you have. Please like and subscribe, it means a lot. And until the next time, guys, may the Force be with you.